we're here to talk about which is better for street photography color or black and white black and white with color you photograph a person's clothes when you shoot with black and white you photograph their soul <laughs> everybody always uses that quote I mean what does that even mean like <laughs> I mean I've heard it used all the time for people who love to shoot black and white but honestly really with black and white, the focus is on the form and composition. It strips the scene down to its, its key elements. Yeah, but who's to say that color isn't one of those essential elements? But all of the masters of street photography shot in black and white. Like who? Well, Henri Cartier-Bresson, Fan Ho, Lee Friedlander, Diane Arbus, uh, Elliot Erwitt, Gary Winogrand, Robert Frank. Yeah, but many of them didn't even have the option of color at the time. If they were around today, maybe they'd be shooting color. What about street photographers like Matt Stewart? Or what about Martin Parr, Alex Webb, Saul Lita, Ernst Haas, Joel Meyerowitz? But Meyerowitz shot in black and white. Yeah, but not all the time. Many shot in both. I mean, think about Trent Park, also Bruce Gilden. But the black and white ones are better. Well, I like their color stuff more. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Well, obviously this is going nowhere. Could we at least agree that each one has its place? No, no. If it's not black and white, it doesn't follow in the tradition of street photography. You know what, I, I can't sit here and, and talk with somebody who doesn't appreciate the masters of street photography. Huh? Seriously? Well, all right, I guess it's just us. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? Um, I'll just move here. I can at least see that there are pros and cons to each one. And I think really there's, there's definitely some advantages and disadvantages that, you know, it's, it's worth talking about if you can talk sensibly. Um, look, for example, black and white. Um, if you're doing a series, it's going to be a whole lot easier to have it look unified as, as a series of images, rather than just thinking about it in terms of individual images. If you're doing a series, sometimes if the colors aren't matching, it can kind of make it look a bit disjointed and, and not flow as a whole. So black and white certainly makes it easier to combine the images and have them more consistent, really. However, I feel that, you know, life is lived in color. We see in color. And if we're representing life and the vibrancy of life, color can really communicate just as much of a message as the composition and, you know, the, the way things are laid out within the picture and what's happening. I think by stripping away that, there needs to be a reason for it, you know, whether it's to maybe use multiple images together as a series, like I just mentioned, or if, you, you do find that the colors in the scene are distracting and, and it does work compositionally and it's just because of the colors because you don't really, in street photography, you don't want to be cloning out things. So desaturating the image can also help to remove those distracting elements. That's true. Another thing that some people say about black and white photography is that it's timeless, that the image could have been taken at any time. It could have been taken before the advent of color photography. It could be from the 1930s or up to the 1990s or whenever, you know. But I'm not sure about that because other things within the image are often going to betray it. Hairstyles, clothes, fashion, the buildings, the cars. So 
I'm not sure how strong of an argument that whole timeless thing is, um, but some people do hold that as a reason for black and white. Uh, for me, I'm definitely more a fan of color, and I think that, you know, because I see in color and vibrant colors really draw me and attract me. I mean, if you think about a beautiful sunset, if you desaturate that, what is there to see? It's the color that makes it beautiful. And for me, it's the color that makes life beautiful. Will you stop interrupting? Anyway, uh, for, for, yeah. So, I mean, obviously we're talking about street photography. So the subject is a little different, but some people think that just by taking the color out, it looks more serious. It looks more, you know, it's like the masters, but you know, who knows what the masters would use if they were, shooting today would they still be using black and white or would they actually make the switch to color i mean some of the great street photographers actually have done that uh, or they've shot in both i mean like the ones i mentioned before i mean ernst haas basically he made the switch to color and really made people take color seriously so you know i i think there honestly i think there's a bit of snobbery about the whole black and white thing but you know to each their own is color photography any less serious any less rigorous a uh, craft than black and white absolutely not the important thing is that you are making considered choices and everything is working together within the image or within a series of images to tell a story, whether it be a real story or whether you're just being ambiguous with the photos to allude to some story or to make people make up their own story. Whatever it is, as long as everything is considered and deliberate, including your decision to go color or black and white, then you really can't go wrong. Honestly, I think despite what he says, either one is perfectly fine. And you just basically uh, do what you what do what resounds with you. Do what you connect with. If you really just love black and white street photography, then do that. If you love color, then do that. But you know, sometimes it's actually good to push yourself out of your comfort zone and try the other type because that'll really help you develop your skills as a street photographer. Um, if you're into street photography, you really should check out this video here or this one also um, because yeah, they've been popular on this channel, so they're definitely worth taking a look at. Um, and also let me know what kinds of things you would like to see in future videos. Hey, this video took a lot of work, so please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was worth the effort. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of thing. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of it. And I'll see you in the next video. Now, hey, you know, let's, 